Hi, nurselings. In this video, we're going to explore the treatment for diabetes type 1. Um, if you're looking for specifics about insulin, that's coming up in the next video. How do we treat diabetes? Basically, insulin. <laughs> diabetes type 1 is always, always, always going to be insulin, and that's because they're they're unable to use any of their their serum glucose on their own so we need to give them some way to do that and if we do not going into diabetic ketoacidosis and dying is is definitely something that may happen so lifelong insulin therapy we have to self-monitor blood glucose levels and then titrate insulin accordingly you guys have probably all done this at in your clinicals where you know you go you do Oh, a lot of hospitals, you guys can't do it as students, but your your preceptor would go and take their, use this little doohickey down here to take their, you know, uh, CBG, their capillary blood glucose. And depending on what that is, you probably have a sliding scale that tells you how much insulin you should give or shouldn't give. With diabetes type 1, you're usually giving a, a long-acting underneath to imitate that basal kind of slow release of insulin we talked about earlier and then two or three throughout the day to imitate that kind of jump of insulin um, during meals. Uh, chronic hyperglycemia, so people who don't control their diabetes well, um, you have a risk of microvascular complications and cardiac events. Well, I think we'll talk about these more next week. Uh, these are things like your retinopathy, nephropathy, and neuropathy as well. I think we'll talk about them next week. So let's talk about insulin. Again, <laughs> I put this like four times. It's always required in type 1 sometimes in type 2. Many, many people uh, that we see in the hospital who have type 2 diabetes are on insulin, um, and that's because the population who are in the hospital are people who ha haven't necessarily been uh, compliant, and so they end up needing insulin as they get older. This insulin that we make, that we give them, I like how I say we, like I actually make it, it's identical to the human endogenous insulin. There are several different preparations available, um, and depending on the, the structure and the amino acid sequence uh, of the, the, like the actual insulin molecule, you could have a different onset, a different duration of action. And this is how we customize treatment for different people. This is important to know that exogenous or, or man-made or mad made. Uh, insulin can do all of the things regular insulin can. So it increases your fat, your carbon protein metabolism, it stores glucose in the liver, all the same things. They can't reverse any defect in insulin receptor sensitivity. Meaning the diabetes type 2 usually that's caused by uh, your body cells not being able to use insulin because there's a decrease in insulin sensitivity, it's not gonna change that. That's a permanent problem. What it can do is increase your insulin so that those cells that are working are able to take up more glucose. 